gonna do some baking. It's Christmas, that is almost equally important to what's going on with that turkey in the oven, right? That's right. Marianne Amadeo, of course, our cooking consultant, has brought all the fabulous bakeware from Nordicware. I've brought some of the newest ones too, and you'll remember at Nordicware, of course, everybody thinks of it as, hey, it's got a hole in there. Oh, it's a the, bunt. The it's bunt. a bunt. And you're right. This is our newest uh, wreath. They've had a wreath before. It is a wreath. Yep. Look at this beautiful thing. It's a wreath. Is it a, an official bunt it's, pan? It is, uh, oh, yes, it is. It certainly is. And it's a little tighter than our other wreath mm -hmm. and a little, not a little higher, but it's just a little bit smaller and people just love it. New this year. And if we can take... Um, However, the camera wants to start. We can start with the Christmas presents. Oh, so they if look you have like little bows on the top. Oh, oh, this is cute. If you start with the Christmas presents, and I'm going to show you the pan. Here it is. And let's not forget that all Nordic, where uh, the paper that you throw into the fireplace has a recipe on the inside. So when you take this Always. off, don't get rid of it, because on the back here. No, no. Oh, where? Where is it? There it is. There. Check it out. Yeah, every time. recipe. Oh, great. Now, this is new. This is called the presents. Look at that. The Christmas presents. Now, they're big presents, so this is good for little hands to decorate and get small motor control. So, even if you're making your icing, <coughs> excuse me, or buying a store-bought one, if you take a look at the presents over there, you're going to see that if you thin out the icing, the child can make the ribbon, or if you have professional cake tips or you use the ones you buy in the store, that's it. Now, you can use their recipe, you can use a mix, you can use a pound cake. But they're very pretty for bake sales. They're very pretty as take-along gifts. And that is a wonderful present. So that's our new, isn't that cute? It's such a great size. Too. I love the Just size. Just the perfect size. The cake's going to pop out okay, right? And still maintain all that detail? Well, Nordicware pans have a lot of detail, and I'll, but I'll show you the one that has the most. I always use Baker's Joy because Baker's Joy is a mixture of uh, the spray and flour. So that's what makes that. Now, this one's called Cozy Village. Look at this thing. Look at the detail on that. Now, wouldn't you be worried that it would get all stuck in there? No, and it won't. I don't worry for a minute when I'm using Baker's Joy. So if you want to take this, Val, and we'll hold it a little closer to here, mm. this is the Cozy Village. So I want you guys to see that. Now, there's details. You can make the middle one into a church, chimneys, little stores, but turn it upside down for me. And I want you to see the difference. You see how it comes out? Mm. So spray. And it gets into those yeah. little nooks and crannies. So just go ahead and spray Val's thumb. So that's sprayed. They will pop out. And pop out they do. Now this is nice for um, a smaller child, but I don't want them to get frustrated. But boys and girls that are in grade four, three, four, five, they can actually do whatever they want to make it nice. Now you can see the detail here, and we've used fine and thick um, piping. Now take a plate, you can buy these cardboard plates, or you can make one. And you so just set it up with a little bit of uh, icing and that's sticks. it. You can take some icing, sugar, and dust it, and then take white icing, that's your snow and do it that way and it will set. Now if you're putting the trees in and you can see that and there's a little reindeer I've got there too. Two minutes. Okay. Let them, uh, let the icing get a little bit hard. Hold it there and once the icing's hard it will stay. Okay. Now I'm going to do the flip. We're going to do the flip. We're going to do the flip. Everyone ready? And this pan, you're going to do this. Now this is the Yule log. So First, what I do to make sure it's fine, and it will be, is give it a couple of these. Because sometimes it's just you want to create that little whoosh, that little vacuum. Okay? So, if you want it flat, you can take your knife, and I think I will, just, okay? And of course, that's the part that you eat. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing this for a display of any kind, and I've done this in a pound cake, but again, the Yule log has the decorations. That's flat. Ready? We'll do this. Okay. Now this is how. Oh, look at that. 
We now, have one Val, left. Okay. I don't know if you can pick that one up or not, but that is the Yule log. You want to put that on a bake sale, honey? That's going to fly. Look at this. There's the finished one. Isn't that great? Now, all if you, that detail. All if you, that yeah. detail. If you've been looking at Yule logs in the stores these days, you'll know what they come to. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. Do we have time to talk about the nog? Because we're almost out of time. Let's pour some. Shake right. it up. Here you go, my lady. And those mixes? What are those mixes Super. all about? Nordic wear. Ah, love it. Oh, I love maple. Mm. What about you? I have. This is my first time trying it. I love it. Oh, I love it. it was all right. Last year. So Can you believe we're, we're mm. still we're still going to do more holiday entertaining? We are cooking. We're back to the cooking, right? We're going to do a little more savory stuff when we come back. Oh yeah. Don't go anywhere. It's still happening. Holiday entertaining with Marianne Emmerdale. Cheers.